Hey everybody, Keith K here and we are back with another Age of Empires 4 video. Today we're going to take a look at the next uh, chapter of the Norman campaign. Uh, if you saw my previous video, which I'll link to here in case you haven't, uh, we watched uh, and completed the Battle of Hastings in 1066 against the Saxons and King Harold. And now we are going to step into north to York. So England was under Norman rule, but not all were content with the conqueror king. Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman held York, a large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? Yeah, and as I said in the last uh, video, I just love the way they've incorporated history and the video uh, into uh, these campaigns. I think it's fantastic, and it's something that really sets this, um, really, you know, sets the Age of Empires franchise apart in many ways. So let's see what we've got to do here. I don't know this part of William English the history. So it'll his army of be very interesting. To take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. All right, so we're due to capture Middleton. Doesn't really show us. Oh, so this is York must be our, yeah, star. Reclaim York. That's our ultimate objective. The next one is Middle Thorpe. All right, so first thing I want to do, let's see, is hotkey. Put my scouts on one. Put my cavalry and the king. You should use three. Scouts will be two. And finally, archers, four. Let's just send our scouts ahead a little bit. Let's uh, we'll put them in a dispersed formation, which is actually called staggered. See what we're dealing with. And if anybody's hiding, all right. Looks like we've got their own scout, so we need to move. 
C'est comme vos fois. Escolto, Bene. Course au reste. Bon, mais ici. Ok. Si. Got some archers up there. Let's see what we've got down here. Nobody hiding in the trees. Let's see. Some infantry. Alright, so let's bring our spearmen up first. Put them in a wedge. Actually, let's put them... Yeah, we'll put them in a wedge formation. We'll move them to here. Bring our archers up and our cavalry. Let's get them to come back from... So we can get them to approach us so we don't get hit with defensive fire. Right, I guess not. Let's get these guys to take out the archers if we can. Okay, let's bring our archers down here. Sorry, our cavalry take out these archers. Scouts are on this side. All right, so we've captured Middlethorpe. Fortunately, I managed to lose my spearmen. The town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. All right, so we're going to get a chance to build up our army. Resources, let's get her working on a farm. Uh, hunting is... Um, hunting is a little faster than gathering from a farm, but we'll take advantage of that farm. We can have our scouts deposit uh, these sheep. <clears throat> Herd sheep to building. So if you don't do that, they'll just continue to follow you around. Let's see what other buildings we've got here. Some more sheep. Woods out over here. Looks like they've already been doing some chopping, They're gathering there. All right, and so what's going to be critical in the short term, we need to train up a bunch more villagers. Let's keep that queue going. Let's have these guys explore down here. We won't go too far north because we don't know exactly where the next village is, but let's explore a little bit more. Get her to set up a lumber camp over here. Don't see any gold. So our biggest gap right now is infantry. That's going to be a big problem for us. Let's get a barracks built. Sounds good. And we'll just let the villagers keep gathering, um, hunting from these animals. Let's get another, do a little research. All right, so I'm going to uh, build up my economy a little bit, and I'll be back once I've got some infantry built. All right, we did run into some archers up here, so I think this this river crossing is going to be the next the attack move to here. Let's take them out. We won't really go any further. A 
Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Alright, we'll stay here. So that's our next town, a little bit further north. We know that this river crossing here is um, at least one. So let's do, we'll herd these guys back here. Um, we'll get some, bring these archers up. And I am going to continue to uh, build up my economy a little bit before we progress. So I'll be back in a little bit. And you might have noticed this before me, but uh, we're actually tasked with building up our economy. So we need four additional farms, five villagers chopping wood, and we need to build two more houses. So I did build a mill right here uh, where the two existing farms were, and we'll expand that. We don't have any gold on the map that we've uncovered yet, so that's definitely a problem for us. Um, that'll get us our two farms. Let's have this villager chop wood and let's see we're nowhere near our production cap so um we need another villager to chop wood and then i'm going to put a few more villagers just to uh speed up production and construction All right, and I am just about ready to build that last two houses. Um, I did build two barracks, and uh, we don't have a source of gold available to us, so the only thing we can build are spearmen. Um, and I'm going to build, uh, you know, a few more spearmen um, just to be overpowered. Uh, and we do have access to an outpost. So before I build those last two houses, I'm going to go ahead and set one of the one of them up here. And I've reorganized. I put my infantry on one, my archers on two, and what's left of my cavalry and my king here on three. And let's see. I think king can rally the infantry. So I'm going to actually move him into the infantry here. And we'll keep the cavalry. Uh, hopefully we can keep the cavalry as backup. They seem to always charge into battle on me, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to keep them in reserve for archers. And one thing you can do if you have a kind of a scrum of infantry units like this, you can uh, if you want to make sure you've got all of each type in there. Oh, that's weird. It's kind of a weird animation. He's just kind of gliding his way in. So select, you know, your hotkey, your hotkey one. And then hold down shift and double click on your unit type. And it'll, it'll select all of them. So I've only got uh, 13 of my spearmen selected here. But if I hold down shift, double click, it picks up the remainder of them. And then I can just do control one again and get them all. Uh, in this unit. Um, the Vanguard men at arms are really good, uh, but unfortunately they require gold, so I've only got three of them. Um, and we'll put them in this web wedge formation so that the more uh, expensive resources are a little further in the back here. So uh, let's see. They're detecting enemy troops. That little fire there tells us that they've. It's spotted enemies advancing. I'll just take these folks out real quick. And then they'll fall back. So we're ready to go there. Let's, uh, we'll build two houses. That'll get us, I'm actually going to build a few more. Just to have lots. And we could research some of these advancements, but they require gold, unfortunately. Um, the only thing we're really going to be able to do is produce more spearmen at this point, unless we come across some gold. And my scout here, which I've moved to four, uh, he doesn't see any. So let's just bring him up so he's available. These hunters are going pretty far. Let's um, limit 
I'll have them gather some of these sheep. Split that up a little bit. Okay, uh, let's get ourselves an additional scout. All right, we're just waiting for these houses to complete. Oh, I don't know why she's not working. All right, so now we can really focus on the capturing Norman Bullford. army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. All right, so we're getting some reinforcements here, which is fantastic. We'll just bring them up. We'll integrate them in with our way we've gotten things broken down. Uh, looks like our pop cap is 130. That's probably going to be plenty, but let's just go ahead and build another house or two while we're waiting for them. Now these hunters are way off in the distance here. One thing you can do uh, is build another mill. It acts as a drop site. So these, the sheep for example, oops, sorry, if we build another mill here, it'll act as a food drop site for those. Now, let's go ahead and break up these reinforcements. We'll move these guys over here. Let's just make that all three. All of, let's grab all the archers. Like I said, you can do a shift click. We'll hit two again. And this should leave us with, yes, uh, spearmen and vanguard man at arms, which are, are really powerful relative to the spearmen. And then I'll add this scout. All right, we don't have any idle villagers. We've got a couple units. Maybe put one more person okay. gathering wood. All right, so let's get these guys all in one formation. Control one. All right, we've got somebody inbound. Got cavalry, so spearmen will be perfect for that. And then they'll make small. They'll make quick work of these additional infantrymen. Let's get these folks across the river. Okay, we'll keep our cavalry on the side. We'll keep our archers right behind. And we're going to have our scouts come up. We don't have anybody hiding in the trees on us for ambush. Okay, it looks like the outskirts of the town. Alright, let's just go ahead and advance. Alright, so there's some gold. We're going to want to capture that. Alright, now we're just going to head straight up here. Let's bring up. Not worried about a couple of archers. We'll just attack them directly. Get our cavalry after these archers. Let's have our infantry take care of the town center while we finish up these archers.
these archers. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. All right, so it looks like we're going to have another stage. Repel the Danish raid. The Danes withdrew to their camp, hmm. but would soon return unless William met their demands for gold. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. All right, so we either have to send gold to these Danes or we need to erase them. So let's get our let's get our two barracks producing infantry, but let's send them up here. Uh, let's see, these hunters have exhausted, so let's just get them on the sheep. And it looks like we got some villagers who came over to us. Uh, we are not able to build any of these. We want to advance to the feudal age. The best way to do that is going to be to get some gold. But uh, can we build a town center? Market, blacksmith. No, we can't. So let's get on this gold right away. We'll build a mining camp here. Let's have our scouts look for some additional resources around. Looks like there's a lumber mill here. I'll just kind of set these guys to do a little bit of patrolling. And we'll send them, they'll have sheep, we'll send them back here. It looks like my cavalry were wiped out, which is, that's a pretty big problem. Um, stone, we want to gather up some stone as well. Alright, so we want to gather food and gold, construct an, an additional landmark so we can advance to the feudal age, and build a stable so we can produce horsemen. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some additional villagers. Uh, let's grab a few here. Do we have enough? We do have enough to construct a landmark. So let's, we'll, let's gather up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five all together. I'll peel a couple of villagers away from this activity here. Six gathering wood is good. We'll just leave that as is. Alright, let's grab these folks and we can build a council hall which produces archers at 100% speed from the landmark or heal. Um, let's Bring this up here, and let's go for archers. Let's take one of these and have them gather stone until we can get a few more villagers. Keep the production of spearmen going. These two, put them on stone. Got one more coming. Add him to the construction of the landmark. All right, so I'm going to just let this progress a little bit until I have the 
landmark and stable built, and we'll come back from there. All right, now we've advanced to age two. We have our landmark built here, and you can see that we can produce additional archers. So let's go ahead and do that. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. The northern rebels had forged an alliance with the Danish King Svein II, whose army would prove a thorn in William's side. I sent my uh, infantry away at the wrong time. I was going to have them clean up some of those camps. William's army held back the Danes' attack but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. All right, we've got a new tip here to complete the Palisades to defend our town. So let's take a look at that. Uh, we can connect the Palisades walls to each other and then you can overlay a gate on top of that. Uh, which I guess we better do pretty quickly here. We want to get in. So let's get our villagers through here. And we can get our army. We'll upgrade. And we need more stone, but we'll take care of these guys pretty quickly. This, uh, this outpost we have upgraded to have arrow slits, so that will fire. Let's not let these guys get away. Oh, it looks like they're gonna run off. So we'll put the archers here, move our infantrymen in here. We got a market. There, we could trade. Um, it's not letting us generate the caravans. That's fine. All right, so next up, I think we're going to have to attack this Danish camp, get rid of them. I'm not giving them gold. Um, we can't build a town center. We can build a blacksmith. We can build a, build a stable. So let's get a stable built. Put a stable here. And let's also build a blacksmith. Put that there. Let these guys keep working. We're going to need to put more people on stone. We'll grab these villagers once they're done. Let's have these guys head down. Let's drop these sheep off. Pop limit looks fine. Looks like we're going to get more reinforcements for having un hit achieved that latest task. William's reinforcements here. from the south had arrived, adding vital numbers to his Norman army. All right, so bring these guys up. Let's finish the Palisades wall. Another gate on it. Uh, 
Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this existing force. Let's build one more outpost. Deal with these guys. Alright, and then before they can build up for the next raid, let's get after them and we'll bring our cavalry with us. It's leaving these guys behind as a backup force in case we need them. We'll queue up some additional cavalry. Right, let's hold here. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Flank these guys here. And let's use the cavalry force to bust this wall while we keep focused on any infantry that comes out. So let's figure out here to take out um, their troop producing location, which I don't see. We may just have to take this whole thing out. So we just have to get this meter down, it looks like, or up to full. And I don't know how historically accurate any of this is, but uh, I do know there were, certainly were Vikings that were a problem, or Danes as they're called at the time. Uh, looks like we have some additional troops to deal with. So let's... In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Let's definitely build up some additional infantry. William's ultimate goal was within them. his grasp. All that remained was to enter York some and destroy its keep. Units. I wonder if we can get these gold without getting attacked by these veins. Let's see. No, the answer is no. Oh, or we can just turn around and run. So let's grab that gold and run. See how far they follow us. Yeah, we don't have to worry about those guys. All right, so let's head back here. Got our additional troops. Hmm, okay, so that's a problem. Let's deal with that. I think that means we need an outpost here. So we don't have anybody sneak by us again. Yeah, 
Préparier l'enquête. Station these guys here so nobody sneaks past us again until we can. Let's, um. We can build palisades. We don't want our main village getting attacked. That would be bad. All right, uh, let's see here. So, one, two, three. We've got nine horsemen there. Any additional troops? Twenty-one archers. We've only got five infantrymen, so we. Oh wait, we've got these guys here. So let's move. He's here. These look like they are all infantry. Yep. So we'll bring them up here. Add them to this. Them in a wedge. All right, so let's see. We've got to breach the city gates. It doesn't really show us much. Let's find our scouts. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade anybody else. Build our bloomeries. If we're going to breach city walls, we definitely need to research siege engineering. Uh, it's our infantry that will allow us to build um, at least the battering rams. Oh, I've got some idle villagers. Where are these folks? Looks like. Let's bring these guys up here. Um. Let's have them work on bring them up here and divide them up when we get a chance. So this keeps our main village from being attacked, hopefully. Keep an eye on whether they bring more villagers down here with one of our scouts. Okay, we've got plenty of troops, really. Let's see. That's queued up. Probably should have done that one first. Let's upgrade that to arrow slits, and we'll do one last thing. Let's uh, Produce a barracks. Let's put a barracks in this village. Let's lock that gate. Uh, this way we can produce infantrymen up here. We don't have to send them from all the way down here. But in the short term, uh, I think we'll just make sure we've got some coming up here in case they're needed. I'll add these guys. To our infantry formation here. Um, let's add one to gold. Two to that. Work on some upgrades. Same down here. All right. Let's see what we've got to deal with. 
feliz en Beat. Are we not finished yet? No, we're not. So we're going to hold Don't off till we have it. that. I'm going to use these folks. We'll build an outpost or two along the way. So there's a city gate there. That's York, there's a city gate here. Oh, I'm running into some trouble. Let's pull them back. We'll take this approach to the city gates here. If they follow us, we'll... Yeah, let's send these guys around to the archers. These guys will turn and fight. Archers. All right, so we see that there's some archers there. Let's send our cavalry after them. There. We'll take that tower down. Bring these guys up. Let's actually build our own outpost here. All right, looks like we're facing a bridge and then a city gate. So we'll get this defensive or this outpost built. Let's have this guy build. We'll build a couple of these. Now that we've researched it. Upgrade that. I wonder if we can get away with a second one. Probably will attract them. Right, let's put let's put all of our arrow our archers on that one. Maybe these will get done a little faster. Alright, so we need to Let's deal with these guys. Get those built. Let's see if we can get away with building one there.
All right, so that takes care of them. Let's go ahead and load into these as many men as we can. Move the king over here. And we'll send in those to attack the walls there. Don't really need more resources, but we'll just have these folks work wood uh, so we have it ready. Let's get our archers involved. All right. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Let's get these guys in here so we can take out these archers. Unload our garrison for both of these. Bring everybody in. These guys go at it over here for a little bit. Right, let's just bring them up. Pull everybody back here. Draw their troops out a little bit. A little bit of a choke point, but I think we can, we can deal with it. Alright, and let's just rush these guys. While these guys work after the keep. Probably should train up more men, but let's just see if we can take this down before we're wiped out. Let's get him out of here. And the answer is no. So he did take down the keep. So it's going to give me credit for it. Good enough. I'll take it. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, episode. If you enjoyed watching this, uh, definitely give us a, a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos like this, uh, subscribe and you'll get notified. And as always, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. And uh, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks, everybody.